An update released by Microsoft on May 11th caused an update with the Outlook desktop client. The issues were as follows. If you open up an email, you'll see there's no body in the email. But yet, if you highlight the entire body, do Control A, then Control C, and then let's open, say, for example, Notepad or even Word or something, and Control V to paste it in, the actual body is still there. So the email itself is not missing. It's just the viewing that seems to be affected. Then the next issue that you'll notice is if you type a new email, and as soon as you hit enter, the first line just disappears from view, although the email is actually still there. And if you send it, the person that receives it will still get your text, but you just can't see it on your side. This is due to an update that Microsoft released. So let's first shut down Outlook, click on Start, type Command, when you see command prompt come up, right click on it and run as administrator. The file that we actually want to go to is cd backslash program files, common files, Microsoft shared. And from there, there's a folder in here called click to run. Oops. So once you're in this folder, there's an actual command that you want to type, and it's to do with the Office client itself. And we can roll it back with the following command. Hit Enter. And if we move this window out the way, you'll see that Microsoft Outlook is right now going to the Microsoft Update Services and is downloading an update for Microsoft. This sh should fix it as of this morning, May the 12th, where Microsoft has released an update for this particular issue. So let's wait while that runs. Okay, now that that update is done, let's have a look back in Outlook. So we'll close down the command prompt, go back into Outlook, click on our email, and there we go, the body is back. So you can either do the update that way, or of course you can do the traditional way, go through the update and security, check for updates, but personally, I find this process can take a long time, especially if you're looking for a specific update. So this should take care of it for you. And hopefully Microsoft doesn't release that kind of update again. But then again, they did a couple of weeks ago with the printing fiasco. Anyway, hopefully that helped you guys. Have a fantastic day. Catch you later. Bye now.